From January 1st uh, till the end of April, we've given uh, Narcan to a total of 56 patients. It has been an increase over the past few years as Ottawa is growing and we're getting uh, more uh, fentanyl into the city, we have been given Narcan to more people. Every ambulance carry a minimum enough for, enough for Narcan for three patients, um, but uh, often there's more than one vehicle sometimes I might respond to a call, uh, whether it's a first response unit a, uh, or a supervisor, every vehicle carry enough uh, Narcan for at least three patients. The vast majority of patients respond to the first dose were given. However, there has been a couple that required uh, multiple doses to uh, restore their, uh, their ability to breathe. The number one thing about uh, people who are carrying a Narcan kit or Naloxone kit is that uh, the Naloxone will not last long enough. In uh, some cases, uh, it will la the drug that the person took will last longer than the Naloxone which means that they will go from uh, not breathing, they will go back to normal, and within an hour, they can stop breathing again. So if they're alone at that time, uh, they might suffer some significant consequences going on up to death. So that's why it's important that even if you're administering naloxone, that you call 911 and that, that we bring uh, these individuals to the hospital to be monitored. Any drugs can be cut with fentanyl or other opiates. It could be your ecstasy, it could be your cocaine, even if you're not an IV drug user, you can uh, suffer the effects of opiates.